What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're going to be showing you ASUS's AI Suite 3. This is brand new with the ASUS Republic of Gamers Z87 motherboard. So we're going to go over the features of AI Suite 3 and a couple of the other software programs that aren't part of AI Suite 3 but do come with the ASUS Republic of Gamers Z87 motherboards. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, I would suggest full screening this um, so you can kind of see everything. So the first thing is of course AI Suite 3 and you open it up here and as you can see we have all of our things listed here and then we have all of our uh, voltages, temperatures and fan speeds, all of that right in here. So every time you have this open you can kind of see what's going on with you know your system and how everything is running. Now we're first going to go into the dual intelligent processors floor so just go ahead and click on it. And this pretty much shows you everything that's going on with your computer as terms of, you know, your processor, your fans, everything like that. So, you know, right here we have our four-way optimization. So what you can do is if you click that, it will automatically detect the best configuration based on actual usage. So it will detect the best configuration for your system based on your usage, which is, of course, really, really good. Um, your TPU here, you can check out your CPU performance. Of course, right now we're, we are overclocked. Um, it's up 58%, which of course is a very good overclock. You can see your frequency and your strap as well. Um, this is all monitoring right now, so you can't really change any of these settings, but we'll get into where you can do that. Fan Expert 2, um, we haven't run our fan bench which actually will benchmark your fans and provide the best performance. We haven't done that yet, but you can see what fans are running and the settings right here, which is actually pretty cool. Um, DigiPlus Power Control, you can see that we have it all turned off right now. Um, our EPU, which is our energy savings, you can you know configure all that how you like, but again, we have that turned off and you can monitor your CPU power so how much how much wattage is your CPU taking up you can see that and you can see your power saving there's also power saving modes so there's high performance max power saving in away mode you can of course set those up as well now if we go into the TPU here just give it one second to load this is where you can actually actively change everything so this should actually be set to group tuning so we have all four cores at once so maybe if you for some other reason you want one core to be higher than the other you can do that but you can have your group turn tuning turned on um, and then you can actively change everything so you can change the BCLK frequency the ratio and the cash ratio as well just to have everything right in here and of course you can hit apply and then you won't have to restart or anything like that it will instantly do it and then of course over here is your straps with Haswell processors we have straps again so you know you have uh, 100 125 167 and 250 just makes the overclocking easier and bringing your system up much much easier um, of course you can also load and save profiles so maybe if you have a gaming profile an overclocking profile something like that you can go ahead and change all of that with our EPU give it a second to load um, it will you can set you know your away mode time um, you know things like that where you, maybe your computer goes to sleep you can set different fan profiles as well um, you know for your away mode so say you're going away you can make your fans turn down so they're not using as much power all kind of cool stuff like that um, this is in our auto mode there are you know your high performance max power saving and your away mode. You can change all of that stuff. Um, you can even configure your max CPU power in your away mode and max power saving too. So, you know, this is all about saving power, you know, making things a lot more efficient. DigiPlus power control is, of course, all of your power controls. So you can set your CPU load, li load line calibration, your CPU uh, power thermal control, CPU current capability your CPU voltage frequency, your CPU phase control, um, and your active frequency mode. And then you can, let me go over here to this section, and you can see set your CPU power duty control. And then we go over to DRAM, of course, you can set your DRAM current capability and your DRAM voltage frequency as well. Um, and you can set the phase control as well. So this is all stuff you can do so you don't have to jump into your BIOS, of course. Um, if we go over to our fan expert, of course, this is for all the fans that are in your system. You can see all your fans here and what they are actually set at and everything like that. Um, and then there are 
this thing there is this called fan tuning as you can see this wants us to do this and what this is it's that fan benchmark that will allow you to benchmark the fans in your system and come up with the appropriate ratio whether it's based on temperature whether it's based on um, you know whatever it may be it's going to come up with that right tuning as you can see you know right here for that appropriate fan there's also different modes so you can there's let me get this out of the way if I can I can't there's uh, this normal mode and then you have standard turbo and full speed and that's kind of how you can change everything around um, you know for for your different fans and you can go into all of that again you can load and save profiles as well it just makes things so much easier um, and you can name your different fans which is cool so you know maybe you don't know what chassis fan 3 is you you know nobody remembers those things you can actually name it so we can name it maybe I don't even know what chassis fan 3 is actually that I have on my bench right here but we could name it maybe front fan so we can name it front fan and fan position is unknown I don't know what this does okay it's, oh it's actually gonna search for the fan position in your case which is actually actually really really cool um, I was unaware of that that's actually really cool so it's gonna actually search for where the fan is in your case um, and will find it automatically which is actually really cool that's all stuff you can do with fans it's, it's good to have the optimal fan configuration um, for your system just makes it much better for cooling and of course noise and everything like that now we'll go out of here so you hit this little arrow to get out to your main menu we have USB 3.0 boost. Um, depending on the different type of USB device that you have plugged in, there's turbo mode, normal mode, and there's a couple other modes which are actually gonna you're actually gonna see later in the review when we have some other USB 3.0 devices that can really we can really really speed up. But this just speeds up your USB 3.0 devices, which makes it you know makes them much much more faster. We have easy update, which of course is you know easy update your BIOS and drivers here give it a second to load um, so you can check now for updates uh, it's, it's very easy to do or you can manually up manually update your BIOS from one that you've downloaded already from Asus again just makes things very easy to do we have our system information which is going to show us all us all of the information on our system so you can see the motherboard um, you know the version the serial number of our motherboard and the BIOS information um, our CPU information, you can see all of the information on our CPU, all of that stuff, uh, you know, and our SPD information for our memory as well. So we can see all our memory that's running, the SPD information for it. Of course, you can go to the different uh, slots as well just to check all of that out. And we have USB BIOS flashback. Um, what this does is, is check and save the latest BIOS version to a USB storage device. Um, just makes it very easy to do that. Of course, USB BIOS flashback has been put into ASUS motherboards for a while now. Um, and again, this also gives you the ability to check for new BIOS updates. And finally, we have USB charger. So if we go in here, um, you know, you can easily connect a USB charging device such as a smartphone, iPhone, or iPad um, and you plug it into the ROG connect port on the back of your motherboard and it will charge your device a lot more quickly um, it has the the higher voltage rating so it is gonna do that much much faster and that's basically it here for the Republic of Gamers again you can go down here and you can see the frequency of all your cores um, which all of mine of course are the same and your voltages and all of that stuff you can also change the settings for some of this stuff you can set thresholds and everything for voltages temperatures and fan speeds all of that stuff um, you know right in this software now another piece of software that that isn't actually part of the AI suite but it's included with ROG motherboards is the um, mem tweak it now you used to be able to change all these values here so you can see pretty much all of these crazy values here for your memory that you you might want to change now of course asus has a little notice here that says mem tweak it cannot be used to show all levels of memory timings which can be shared and compared via the rog website to compete with others or it can be used to that but what it can't do is it says however due to a limitation within the intel fourth generation core processor platform we are not yet able to tweak these timings within the os so you have to do all the stuff in the bios um of course now if you had a an older motherboard uh with a you know 
say like a Z77 motherboard, you, you should be able to change these. But with the fourth generation, you can't change all of this. You can actually view it though, which of course, you know, you you, you can um, validate your score and share it, which you can see our DRAM efficiency score is, uh, what is that, 32,010. And of course, you know, you want to make that better. You can change different timings, all that fun stuff. So the last thing is our RAM disk, which is actually really cool. So one thing, um, you know, if you have a lot of RAM, say you have a 32 gig kit or a 64 gig kit installed, you can actually create a RAM disk. And what that will do is it, it allocates part of your RAM to an actual hard drive. So it, it makes part of your RAM an actual hard drive. And you may be wondering, why would I want to do that? Well, one, if you have extra memory, a, you know round why not use it other ram disk programs that you actually have to pay for this one you're getting free with your motherboard and what you can do is you can set the size here so i can set the size um so it, it allows you to do up to 80 percent i believe of your available ram on your system you can create that now what's the point of that you know um you can what's over here is called junction so one, once i had created a ram disk i can create a junction say i play um battlefield 3 a lot i can actually create a junction for my battle 3 battlefield 3 files right here so they're going to load extremely fast or some game you play or something like that that you load all the time maybe it's even photoshop or something that might take a little bit of time to load you can actually create a junction so the OS thinks that it's maybe it's going to run the Battlefield 3 files from your um, actual hard drive, but in reality, it's going to load them through the RAM disk, just making it much, much faster. Like, just another value add-on that Asus provides with their Republic of Gamers board. Um, really, really cool. You're going to be able to speed up your you know loading times on many of your programs by using the RAM disk. But that's basically it here, um, covering the AI Suite 3 software that comes with Asus's uh, Z87 motherboards. And make sure you check back very soon because we're going to have a follow-up um, as Asus adds this software. Of course, make sure you check out our reviews of Asus's Z87 motherboards as well. And remember, guys, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And we'll check you guys later. Mm -hmm.